And he was talking about how there were pedophiles in Hollywood. I'll never forget this interview. Barbara Walters was alive and he got on the view and he was trying to warn people then that there were people that had molested them and had molested also Corey Haim, how um, that machine dude um, molested him. And um, people were like, no, this can't be true. You're lying. Uh, nobody is going to believe you. And I remember Barbara Walters and them questioning him and you know, uh, they were like, no, 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 that's not true. Do you know you're hurting people's reputation? And this dude, and I remember the look on his face like, he said, when it comes out, you guys are going to remember this conversation. And I'll never forget that. I went back and I said, hmm. this dude, I, I, I believed him. And I said, I bet people now are wondering, what were we thinking? Not this dude, not everybody going back to this video now that he did. And I say, but he was trying to tell you a long time ago. And then they talking about what they did to Judy Garland. You remember the, um, the Wizard of Oz? Ooh, the, I mean, when you hear about the horror stories of some of what some of these actors have gone through. I can't. Mm -hmm. He has always, um, he's always been in my prayers. Always been in my prayers. And I didn't know why. And this literally happened like last year, at the end of last year, like maybe November, October, November. I remember, I don't know if I had a vision or I just was asleep. I can't remember what it was, but I remember I could hear, get your house in order. You're about to be judged about him. And I'm like, oh, snap. Yeah. So I kind of, Knew ahead of time. So when it happened, I wasn't surprised. I was like, and, and then as I'm listening to, you know, like the different people talk about it and, you know, so many people that were near him was just saying, man, they was trying to warn him. They said he got so many warnings. Like people was telling him, leave that lifestyle alone. Stop doing this, you know, stop doing some of the things that were illegal. You know, whatever you do in your own private, whatever is, you know, is your business. But the illegal part, they said that they were really telling him and trying to warn him. Really? Um, you're going to get caught. You're going to get trapped. So now the conversation is he done paid this girl this $30 million. And um, man, Cassie. and she talking, she, she talking anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm not laughing at the situation because it's very, yeah. very sad and unfortunate. Yeah. But we can um, introduce the podcast and continue talking about the hot topics that's on the algorithm um, but I don't know if you've seen like the articles about um pretty much TikTok and podcasts. They're they're coming up with these like articles pretty much talking about how everything's becoming saturated and everybody got a platform and how you know even like the people at like up are realizing like you know the like you was talking about the quality of a quantity, it's a lot of quantity. Yep. And the quality um mm -hmm. is declining. Um yep. And, you know, I guess the topic, you know, Welcome to Calendar Podcast. I have my cat here. I got my sister, Ms. Laws, coming through in NY. And NYC, Laws, baby. Tri-State. How's the weather out there right now? It's cold. It's cold and it's rainy. It's been cold and rainy for all this week, actually. But Whereas, noisy. Huh? Yeah, but noisy. Well, you know what? Right now we're in Jersey City. We awesome. we take the the uh the train and uh because I'm just waiting until I decide what borough I want to stay in. Got it. Okay. I'm checking out the different boroughs and things like that, and um, there's certain ones that I like more than others. But I'll tell you something. I will say this on the record. I ain't gonna say this author. I'm gonna say this on the record. Yeah. So many people have so <laughs> many negative things to say about Harlem. Harlem is alive and thriving. Oh really? Awesome. Don't believe the hype. Harlem is alive. Yeah, last time I was in Harlem, I was at one of those soul food restaurants. It was really good. Sylvia's? Yeah, probably Sylvia's, yeah. I went to Sylvia's too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and speaking of New York, um, you know, the mecca of hip hop, you know. Yeah. And I think it's so important um, before, we, you know, we talk about like, you know, the hot topics, the ditty topics or, you know, just the, the things that everyone is so curious about. I don't, do you know African Bombada? Yes. Yes, I do. And, and so um, for the people who don't know, you know, African Bobata, 
you know, he was the creator of pretty much like, you know, um, yeah. Voodoo, vo you know, Zulu Nation, mm -hmm. um, Q-Tip, you know, Tribe mm -hmm. Called Quest, yep. Busta Rhymes. Literally, you know what I'm saying? You talking about Boom Bap, you know, he pioneered that entire sound. He did, he, it was, he did the uh, song, It's Gonna Get Funky, nah, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he was a known for a long time, right? And my whole issue with the thing is that they're not separating, like, predatory or, predator, you know, predatory behavior with sexuality, right? They're, like, mixing the two. Yeah, they are. Right? And yeah. they are doing what a lot of ignorant people do right you know yeah. and you know i say that you know rightfully so because i've been ignorant before you know i'm mm -hmm. not judging you know they put negative connotations on people's real identities versus looking at them as humans right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and understanding like a predator is someone who's definitely someone who needs to you know has something in the mind right but then you talk about someone with power Oof. right yeah. And so I think about like the Dan Snyder thing, you know, with I don't mm. know if you read about that with the uh, show. Um, Nickelodeon. Yeah, the Nickelodeon documentary. Right. Mm -hmm. And just how you have these. Talented. Mm -hmm. Artists, mm -hmm. successful, mm -hmm. charismatic, bravado, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Predators. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're in positions of power where they're able to do that more, more, more accessibly. I use that word wrong, but it's more access. And I'm in on this. And I don't know if you know um, about the Boy Scouts, right? That, yes. Right. And so like the Boy Scouts that, you know, like they, they've had a very long history of predatory behavior. And yeah. I watched a documentary about it. And what it talked about was that because of the infrastructure of the Boy Scout, right? Because mm -hmm. you have a man with young men who are mm -hmm. unsupervised, right? Mm -hmm. It creates an environment where it's unregulated. It creates an environment that attracts yeah. predators. Yep. The system creates. Yep. Yeah. And one more last thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. They're okay. not they 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 they're like oh, what's the word where like um are they sovereign people? Well, not sovereign, but they what's the word? They I know they're very religious. Yeah, very very orthodox, very very conservative, yeah. right? Extremely. Men rape cases are crazy. Um in those places when you talk about like sexual assault. Yes, it's crazy, right? And so my point is, is like talking about like, we talk about education system, right? And it's very, very, very like, you know, regulated, very, very, very like, you know, cross your, you know, T's dot your I's, right? A lot of red tape, you know? Why are these industries that have so much power unregulated where these predators can literally prey, thrive and survive, and use their talents. And we are not even going to know about it until 40 years from now. Like, you know, like, how does this happen, right? Is this the world ran from, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I feel like Diddy's like a mob boss. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to be careful. You know, you asked a very good question because I, I just got through, you know, it, everything is very saturated now because everybody's coming out. But I know, I remember that Cat Williams interview. Mm-hmm. I will never forget. That's why I brought this up. Yeah, that's why I brought this up. He said, things that are supposed to be exposed are going to be exposed in 2024. And I heard a lot of people before him say it. So mm. when I, I just got through slipping past, because everywhere you cut all social media now is saturated with this person saying that this person did this to them. And they've been saying mm. it for years, but we said that they, people were saying they were crazy. So what's the, you remember B2K? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, Chris What's Stokes. The, say it again. Chris Stokes. Yeah, uh, B2K, uh, Amarion, uh, Lil Fizz, Jay Marcus Brooks, Houston. And Marcus, well, yeah, before Marcus Houston, uh, he was in another group. What's the other guy's name? IMX. You're talking about IMX and Immature. Um, 
Well, it was four. It's four. So J Bug, Lil Fizz, Amarion. What's the other ones? And then you got Lil Rome, and then I I just know so they well, they are, I am X and B two K. So we got J Bug. Dang, I feel bad because I was fans of them. Amarion, okay. Lil Fizz, Raz B. Raz, that's yep. him. Yep. So I just got through watching him do an interview. Mm. And oh my God, I'm not going to even mention no names. But he, you remember, he was the one that was getting ready to jump off the hospital building, remember? Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. He just got through saying, and he owned it. He said that did, mm -hmm. did but some guys that were with him made them, him and um, some, some of the members of B2K go into the room and do things to each other. This is what this guy just said. And he, he said he's so angry because he said people didn't believe him. He said, now that all this stuff is coming out, people are starting to pay attention. He said, but I look at this dude now, and I remember he just had a complete meltdown last year, getting ready to jump off of the building, trying to commit suicide. And I remember, I don't know if you remember Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. Do you remember them too? Yeah. Yep. 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 Yep, yep. 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 I love them. They were both in Lost Boys. They used to love Lost Boys, the vampire movie. So um, Corey Feldman, some years ago, maybe about five, six years ago, got on The View and he was talking about how there were pedophiles in Hollywood. I'll never forget this interview. Barbara Walters was alive and he got on the view and he was trying to warn people then that there were people that had molested them and had molested also Corey Haim, how um, that machine dude um, molested him. And um, people were like, no, this can't be true. You're lying. Uh, nobody is going to believe you. And I remember Barbara Walters and him questioning him and you know, uh, they were like, no, 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 that's not true. Do you know you're hurting people's reputation? And this dude, and I remember the look on his face like, he said, when it comes out, you guys are going to remember this conversation. And I'll never forget that. I went back and I said, mm. this dude, I, I, I believed him. And I said, I bet people now are wondering, what were we thinking? Not this dude, not everybody going back to this video now that he did. And I say, but he was trying to tell you a long time ago. And then they talking about what they did to Judy Garland. You remember the, um, the Wizard of Oz? Ooh, I mean, when you hear about the horror stories of some of uh, what some of these actors have gone through just to become successful, it is crazy. And it puts it in perspective of like when we talk about like entertainment, right? Yeah. You know, I look at it as like, you know, like a like a just like all his like all his toys are just like on the like the the stage, right? And he's just like flaunting with all of his, you know, his yeah. his boy toys, right? That's what it feels like. It's like a, it's like a, it's like it's like a, it's like sex trafficking kind of. But instead of you doing that physically, you do it through contracts. You do because like the music industry is very, 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 very amalgamated, right? One yeah. person goes to another uh, company to go to another company, and. Going back to what I was talking about, the negative connotation on, you know, sexuality, right? You have people are trying to literally are not comfortable with who they are, right? And mm -hmm. you have people who are in denial of who people are mm -hmm. because it because because, you know, sexuality is, you know, even though, it, you know, America has been very progressive, it's still very taboo. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about men who we want to see in a certain light and then we hear them in a different light, we don't want to accept that reality. Mm -hmm. And people who are marginalized, right? Like victims, like people who've been assaulted, women, right? Native American women who experience femicide a lot, right? Women in, you know, uh, Central America who experience femicide a lot, right? People who are marginalized, right? Their stories are always going to go, they're always going to fall between the cracks. Mm -hmm. 